In this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your existing Linux Mint installation, for example, 22 or 22.1 to the latest Linux Mint version, which is right now the 22.2 version. Welcome in a new video of Linux Art. My name is Jean and um, yeah, today we are gonna upgrade our Linux Mint. At first, we have to ensure that we have the right version to upgrade our current Linux Mint version. For that, I open up the menu and search for system information and here I get the number of the operating system. I have Linux Mint 22.1 so this is right and also Linux Mint 22 is right. If you have a lower Linux Mint version like 21.3 or even lower then you have to do multiple steps to upgrade to the latest version. I put you the corresponding videos into the video description. At first we have have to ensure that um, maybe if we have the available disk space that we create a system snapshot. So if something goes wrong we could go back to this system snapshot after the update and for that I open up the menu and we search for time shift. Here I open up time shift and we insert our password and then I personally never opened up time shift yet. So here we could uh, select the snapshot type. Um, this is completely fine, just leave it as it is. And then it is estimating our system size. This takes a moment and this is right. I hit next and then I can select snapshot levels. I personally don't recommend time shift as a daily basis, maybe if you want, but only if you want at a monthly basis. I also did a video about time shift one year ago. I put you it also into the video description, but for this upgrade, um, it could be very useful to do a manual snapshot. So I personally don't select any uh, snapshot level here and hit next and here we have our user home directories. Please exclude all files of these. You should do backups of your home directory or your personal files uh, with for example Pika backup or some other program. Please do not use time shift for this. I hit next and we hit finish. This is great. Now we can create snapshots if you want. So if you want, just create it and then you have a backup of your system if you want to revert your system and you want to undo the upgrade we are doing right now. I'm not doing this because of time reasons, but if you want to do, just do it. If you don't have the disk space available, then this would be also okay. It is only a minor upgrade so I would say it is not obligatory but if you want to go safe then it's definitely a good thing to do this once manually here. Okay, um, I close up time shift now and we can prepare the update. And for that I open up our update manager and I search here for update manager and here we have it. And here in our update manager we have to ensure that there are all upgrades and updates applied we have available here because especially for example the cinnamon spices, so your cinnamon extensions, applets and so on, they have to be um, up to date because otherwise your desktop might not start anymore uh, the next time you boot. So um, this is very important that your system here is completely up to date. If you ensure this, then we can uh, head to the next step and this is to finally upgrade our Linux Mint 22.2 version. So for that uh, we open up our edit menu here in uh, Update Manager and we select upgrade to Linux Mint 22.2. Sarah, I open it up and here we have our upgrade great assistant. This is very easy. We click next here. We could uh, check the release notes if we want. We could also check the new features if you want. I already did a video about this so I put you the video about the new features and also what about the future with Linux Mint and the Wayland composition right now um, into the video description. Very recommended if you are a Linux Mint user and you haven't seen it yet. So um, this is fine for me. I hit next and then we have the requirements. New releases could provide bug fixes and new features but 
also sometimes introduce new issues. So yeah, um, this is why you could uh, create your time shift snapshot before that. But to repeat that, this is only a minor upgrade. So I don't expect any issues here, but um, theoretically it could be so. But the chances are very low for such an upgrade. So I hit, I understand the risk. I want to upgrade to Linux Mint 22.2 Sarah and then I hit apply. I type in my password, hit authenticate and this is it. Now Linux Mint 22.1 in my case updates itself to 22.2, very easy. And uh, this takes just a small moment, maybe about five or 10 minutes. And afterwards your Linux Mint version is the latest one and you can enjoy the new features. So this was it very quick, how to upgrade your existing Linux Mint 22 version to the latest one. And we expect one additional update in the next future. So I guess around Christmas or maybe around New Year's Eve, we will see Linux Mint 22.3. For this, we of course also provide new videos also about the new functionality then. So make sure if you don't want to miss that to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like also. This would be very great and would help us a lot. This was it. Thank you very much. See you next time. And until then, enjoy using Linux Mint. Bye.